I'll show you how you, you can make folds and wrinkles in an easy step in ZBrush. For the purpose of this video, I will use uh, Melimaco and Marlin dress. I press the import and import Marlin dress OBJ. And then hold and drag, press T so it is editable. And before anything, we just go to UV, uh, UV map, adjust, and flip UV. We press Ctrl D a couple of times, maybe around 1 million in here. About 1.7 is good enough. Okay. And what we do, and we just select the material, whatever suits uh, your need or whatever you like. But I'll use MAH Shiny for, the, for this video. And <clears throat> I'll bring it to color of green just to see it better. And the, you go to brushes and load brushes. And I'll use Tomato Video FX clothes, Cloth Folds brushes, which you can find uh, free on the internet. I'll include the link below. And then you have actually, you can find other uh, folds and wrinkles brushes, many of them on the internet. And the first one is a single brush. It's just trial and error. So basically, this is a 2D brush. Just get closer a little bit wherever you want to put the fold. You can actually play with the intensity. If you want a different one, you can add one to another, just like that. Or just control Z and just try and find and you can actually then smooth it out. You can try other brushes depending on your need. This is a double brush that Swiss and use three triple one if you want less intense, maybe like that, maybe going down. We're going from here and try any of them until the desired result you want. Just press sh uh, hold shift if you want to smooth it out. Let's say if you're happy about this, take off Z add, press RGB, go to color, uh, fill object. And then um, go to uh, Z plugin, projection master, projection master, select shaded material, and drop now, and go to again projection master and pick up now. Just uh, I'll frame it because we whatever you see on the screen that's actually uh, baking only this part, but it didn't bake this part, so. We'll just go to color and fill object again. Well, we'll go red color and fill object again to, to start again. And we just go to um, GB and we just go projection master again. Drop now, projection master, pick up now. Go to side, hold shift so it would align correctly. Projection master, drop now. Z plugin projection master pick up now. The back side, the same thing. Z plugin projection master pick up now. And the other side, projection master drop now. Projection master pick up now. Now, once you're done, go to texture map, create knee from poly paint. Once you have this, as you can see, clone the texture to there and then uh, export export as JPEG or whatever format suits your need and just uh, TX etc and then upload into Second Life with the folds you created. 